Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to explain you how you can use the ASP32 Bluetooth Classic features to exchange data with a Bluetooth enabled laptop uh, on a serial connection emulated over Bluetooth. Uh, basically these features of the Bluetooth Classic uh, have just landed uh, in the Arduino core at the time I've recorded this video. Uh, so before you proceed with following this tutorial, my recommendation is that you uh, pull the latest code from the Arduino um, the Arduino uh, repository the, the, for the Arduino core for the SP32 so you make sure you have the latest changes otherwise you may run into some troubles um, trying this code so uh, basically we are going to, to use a, a library called Bluetooth Serial uh, this library is, is already merged in the Arduino core and it pretty much uh, gives a very very simple interface uh, to exchange data uh, over serial emulated um, on top of Bluetooth Classic and it makes a very good job I think from uh, the low level implementation details so it, uh, the code for, it, for this uh, will be very very simple uh, basically the, the first thing we need to do uh, is creating an object of this class Bluetooth Serial uh, which will have all the methods uh, that we'll need to, to uh, both initiate the initialize the Bluetooth interface and then to send the data uh, to the laptop over over this uh, serial port. Uh, I'm calling this object serial BT. Uh, you can call it wherever you like. So the first thing we need to do is initializing the Bluetooth interface as I've mentioned and to do it we simply need to call the begin method on our Bluetooth serial object. Uh, note that uh, the syntax is pretty much the same of a uh, regular um, wired serial connection. It also has a begin method, but in our case we don't pass uh, we don't pass a baud rate. We pass the name we want our um, ASP32 uh, to display to other Bluetooth enabled devices when sur uh, surrounding um, surrounding the environment. For instance, I'm calling it ASP32. So my laptop, when uh, discovering other Bluetooth enabled devices, should be a device called uh, SP32. We can you can put here other other name if you like just to, to test it. This method will um, basically handle the initialization of uh, uh, the Bluetooth stacks, both the controller stack and the host stack. This is a, uh, these are two more technical um, terms uh, regarding the, the how Bluetooth operates, but you don't need to worry about it. Uh, moving on to the main loop function, uh, we will periodically send the, the an hello world message to the um, serial connection with a small delay here uh, to avoid uh, uh, constantly uh, flooding the, the interface with messages, so we delay for one second. And basically to send, to send a message it's pretty simple, uh, we have uh, basically the same uh, functions we have for a regular wired serial connection and in this case I'm using the println function which uh, method which allows me to pass as input a string and uh, that will put a new line at the end. Uh, you can test with other functions uh, such as the print, uh, the write and other functions that we are used to use with um, regular uh, serial inter interface uh, wired one. So uh, basically this is the code I've already uploaded, uh, uploaded it to my device and uh, once the procedure finishes, uh, you need to go to your uh, operating system Bluetooth devices. Uh, I'm on Windows 8, uh, in your uh, operating system it may differ a little, but basically if I go here, I see this ASP32 device, uh, you can check it here. Uh, it's already paired in my case, sorry but the menus are in Portuguese, uh, but this is already paired. Uh, in your case you should pair uh, pair with the device. After that, your operating system should detect a new uh, COM port, a new serial port, um, and it will be seen for every program that uses it. Uh, it will not know if it is an emulated serial port over Bluetooth or a regular wired one. In our case, we will use the Arduino EDA uh, and its serial monitor, and it will don't be able to tell the difference between it being wired or um, emulated over Bluetooth. Uh, the simplest way to check uh, your new uh, COM port is before you pair with a device you can check how many COM ports you have available and after pairing you should have an additional one. 
this is a, a quick way but you can also open your devices manager let me open it here uh, again this is in portuguese sorry but my operating system is in portuguese it's not this it's this sorry okay this is basically the devices manager and if you go here to this section of uh, com ports you should have here uh, a new port and it should say uh, something like uh, serial port over bluetooth in my case it will be com3 i've already paired in the past and i already know beforehand that it's com3 uh, and you should have also a new port it may have other number uh, but you can identify it pretty easily if you are on a different operating system you need to check how to do this verification for you so as you can see here I'm already um, I'm already connected to com, to com port 3 and I have already it running here so basically I'm going to put the auto scroll again and as you can see let me put here our hello world messages are, are being sent to, to our uh, to my laptop uh, and pretty much it's uh, it's pretty much what we need to do to get uh, a fully functioning um, communication serial communication over Bluetooth. Uh, note that sometimes um, the Arduino IDE as serial monitor um, has some crashes. At least I'm experiencing it as some crashes while using this this emulated uh, serial port. Uh, I've been able to get better results with uh, Putty which is a, a, a tool that allows us also to, to establish serial communication but this may be related to my to my environment so you can test it with the, the, the Arduino serial monitor but if you run into problems uh, my recommendation is that you try another software such as Putty I will leave the, the, um, the link for this software in the description of this video and uh, it's a pretty good solution to test this so hope you have enjoyed and uh, thanks for watching.